Hi, this is Jim Blassingame, the Small Business Advocate. And if you'll give me three minutes of your time, I'll help you have the maximum opportunity to be successful in your small business. This video is about three letters sent to small businesses. The first letter was born in the 1950s when the quality ideas of an American, Edwards Deming, reversed made in Japan from a metaphor for cheap to quality. During the 1980s, after American industry had lost competitiveness with Japan, quality processes like ISO and Six Sigma were adopted and Made in America returned to prominence. By 1990, now with their in-house quality act together, big businesses realized they needed similar commitments from their integrated vendors. That's when small businesses started getting letters from business customers requesting evidence of their quality process or no new contracts. The seed for the second letter was planted by computer programmers back in the 1960s. To conserve expensive and precious data storage, program date codes were written with six digits, as in 121565 for December 15, 1965. They didn't realize they had created the Y2K ticking time bomb. Around 1995, experts started worrying that when the clock ticked midnight, January 1, 2000, zillions of lines of date-sensitive computer calculations would fail by going back a century. Consequently, the codes in millions of programs had to be fixed, and by 1998, small businesses started getting letters from their larger customers requesting evidence of their Y2K compliance or no contracts with eight-digit dates. The third letter was born in the middle of the 20th century when we started realizing that the solution to pollution was not dilution. Since then, environmental stewardship has evolved from not polluting to sustainability. Sustainability means doing more with less, including making waste useful, especially water. Not only is it the right thing to do, but businesses are learning that sustainability can be profitable and it's good for public relations. The sustainability letter hasn't been sent yet, but it's coming. Within the next five years, small businesses should expect to hear from big customers about their sustainability plan. And like the quality and Y2K letters, your first motivation will be to keep customers. Start thinking about the resources your business uses, including energy, consumables, production waste, especially water. Establish programs for recycling, reusing, conserving, that sort of thing, and document your execution. So, when you get that first sustainability letter, you won't look like a deer in the headlights. Write this on a rock. Sustainability is good business, good public relations, and good karma. This is Jim Blassingame. I'll see you on the radio or on the internet at smallbusinessadvocate.com.